17, the diagram on the right shows a uniform prism where its cross section is a center of a circle. So you see here this one is a, a cross section of circle uh, with radius 3 cm. So we know that this one is 3 cm. So same with this one, right? Okay. A, O, B and C, E, D. So A, O, B and C, E, D is identical cross section of the prism. Okay, because we know prism up and below is the equal. Okay. A, B, C, D lying on the curve of the uh, curve surface of the prism. Given the height of the prism is 4 cm and C, E, D is 40 degree. So this one 40 degree. Find the arc length of A, B, E, C, M. So A to calculate arc length, arc length is equal to R theta, this one is radius and this one is angle in radian. So we see here we have R which is 3 but then we don't have angle in radian. So we have 40 degree, we have to convert first. So 40 degree is equal to, so to convert to radian, so we give up with 180, so this one will be 3.142 pi over 180. So here we get 0 0.698 radian. So, uh, this one is arc length of AB is equal to R is 3 and then theta is 0 0.698. So, here we get 2.094 centimeter. So, this one is also equal to 0 0.698 radian. So B, the area of sector AOB in CM. So B, area of sector is equal to half R square theta. So this one radius in radius and theta in radian. So we have both R is 3, theta is 0 0.9698 uh, because it say AOB here. And we know that this one and this one is identical. So half R is equal to 3 square and theta is 0 0.698. So here we get 3.141 cm square. So this one is 3.141 cm square. This one is 2.094 cm. So the volume of the prism, so volume is equal to uh, volume is equal to area time height. So we see here the area of the sector is 3.141. So the height of the prism is 4 times 4. So here we get 12.564 cm square. Now the total surface area of the prism. So the here the total surface area is equal to okay, surface area is equal to area area times 2 area of 2 sector here 2 area of sector plus so we see here we have uh, 1 2 3 surface plus another 3 surface so the first surface here is equal to 4 times 3 4 times 3 and then another surface back here you see here height is 4 and then this one is also 3 And then the area back DCBA, you see here DCBA. So we know that DC is equal to the arc length is 2.094 plus 2.094 times the height is 4. So you see here this one, this two, and then one ECOA plus EDPO plus DCB. So here we get uh, two. So, arc length here is here 3.141 plus 12 plus 12 plus 8.376. So, here we get 38.658 centimeter square.